Oh, Jay, 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 Jay. I'm going to pray for your ass. Good day. Goodbye. Valerie, you tired of trying to cry. I'm tired of seeing you fucking cry, to be quite honest, or attempt to cry, miss. Okay, now where the tears? Hey, you gonna cry? I wanna see damn tears, Valerie. I'm sick of you sitting up making noise and they're not crying, upsetting your damn face for no damn reason and ain't no tears coming out of it. Would you please learn how to cry For you a quick trying to say you tired of crying because I'm tired of seeing you. Ooh, so we got Desmos paying off goons or goons that tried to do a job but didn't do it very successful. Mm, yeah, you better talk them loose ends. You know you close to getting caught, you fucker. So, J.J. up here trying to play detective now, calling himself, raising his voice at Chad. Yeah, Chad still ain't flinched not damn time. And you didn't talk about them. You going to get him for these imaginary charges. Thinking you going to nail him. He going to flip on death mode. But it take more than that. You can tell your ass still a rookie in training. Really, really, um, J.J., really. Oh, okay. Oh, so Chad got something planned. Uh-oh. This should be interesting. Oh, my gosh. I should have read the spoilers for this week. Chad got something planned for Dad's mode. I really hope it's good. After he didn't have you kidnapped, what, three times? The locker. The needles. And there's one more after that, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, after he didn't play it three times with you, it's about time to get him back, Chad. I'm glad to see you trying to play a little hardball. Get that ass, Chad. Are you kidding me? So the man walked up on Desmos. He said, I got permission to do you right here. Show his gun on. I think that was a nine. Who sent you? Chad, the man, Roll Ray for name. Who sent you? You ain't trying to fight bad, trying to run, trying to scream and holler. You just let the man drag you away. Really, there, Smalls? That's how we do it now. We don't let our random come up on the street, come near you, threaten you, and then drag you away. And you going not kicking and screaming. Are you bored with your life? Do you really want to die? God, none of us want to do your air like that. They normally go holler and scream and at least leave something in my house so I can know that something didn't happen. You just go right on with them like he ain't fit to kill you or leaving you right to the slaughter. Okay, Desmos. So, Valerie then got in her head. I, I know she was heading back to D.C. So now she said, here yes, is my son here. He trying to get to know his new found family. I'm staying my bald head ass back here in Salem with you. Yeah, him seeing you every time when he go to the hospital in public or to the Brady pub, that's going to not going to make him forgive you, my dear. If that what you thinking, annoying him, seeing him, seeing you every time he goes somewhere, that ain't helping none. You just need to sit down and talk to that man and tell that boy the why. You kept that boy away from, from the damn Hortons. I ain't no fan of the Hortons like that, but right is right is wrong is wrong. You shouldn't have kept that boy away from that family, that part of his family. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chad, Chad, are you really finna give him back his own cast star? Really, Chad? I really wish you wouldn't hear your face, but I guess you said you don't give a fuck hell. I suggest you say hell. If he go down, I'm going down with him. He going down for my crime, I'm going down for his crime. Oh, so this show your tit for tat, huh, Chad? He didn't did his tit. Now it's time for your tat. That's what we working on now. Go ahead, Chad. Lord, Chad up here beating the fuck out of Desmos. He up here playing his game. <laughs> 
Well, there's more. You think it's the game doing what you do to people. You think I put a feel sorry for your tie that got you getting the brakes beat off for you. Yeah, it ain't cold enough. And this rain here in the damn the sun, it ain't cold. It ain't the chilly day in here yet. If I feel sorry for your sorry ass yet, there's more. Are you kidding me? Now, I ain't been paying no attention to this tired heifer for reasons, though. She won't draw me bad. So, I finally sit back and listen and wonder why the fuck she in the hospital, what this little dumb heifer didn't do. This dumb heifer says in terms of her own damn body taking opiates. Really, girl? I'm sorry I didn't hit fast forward when that scene Joe tired of. You really up here sacrificing your goddamn body about to kill yourself about the overdose. May or may not survive that, but you don't care. Just as long as you... Jay, I'm going to say to you what I've been doing last week and this week. Goodbye to you. Good day. Chad having too much fucking fun towards it this morning. JJ then got um Desmo's goon talk threat him with jail time. Still trying to be Mr. Detective by CJJ. Okay, let's see if you gonna get the man. Why you sitting up here making all these threats that you can't keep a promise to him? Yeah, Chad, you might think no more violence mean anything with him. Oh no, he gonna get you back for that one. Yeah, unfortunately. You thought you taught him a lesson. You ain't teach him no lesson. He gonna come back at you ten times more harder. MP I'll be get out or don't end up dying. He coming back at you, Chad. You better watch your back. Nice the way to take the bullet for your son, um um Steve. You know Joey killed Ava. Not you, but I see you say, oh shit, I ain't finna throw my son on the bus, so I'll take the bullet. So that mean you better take all his rage and anger. Good for you, though. I feel sorry for you, but good for you. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.